just start with some uh, basic ways to initiate the top game offensively from half court, right? So we've gone over a little bit of knee shield stuff. We're gonna assume that we've passed the knee shield and we're in kind of this, like where we're both kind of pummeling for inside control, okay? So right here, uh, it's kind of like where in wrestling, if you can get inside with your head, you can prevent a lot of their movement. Um, I could be making that up, but that's what we're gonna go with, right? If I can get my head, my ultimate goal is gonna be to get an underhook, get my head inside of his chin, and this hand, some people prefer to have double underhooks. I, I like to use this hand to cross face and then overhook, right? So um, generally, some of the principles that we're gonna be doing is I'm gonna be fighting for inside control right here. I'm gonna be trying to push all of my weight over Burra's far shoulder, the one that's up off the mat, and getting him flat, okay? It's easy to do that if I can get under hook, inside head control, and then I'm gonna drive my shoulders into him here. When I do that, it doesn't matter so much about his hips, as long as I have his chest pin, and I'm gonna use that opportunity to bring my hips up. So if I can get just generally inside control here, I'll pummel for the underhook, I'll drive my head usually into his chin, and once I can get it down, I'm gonna drive my shoulder down towards the mat, and I pick my hips up, right? So stay kind of tight with that. Okay, this hand usually fights for this underhook. People do like this underhook because a lot of times they'll go to push and earn it here, they're here. So try it out. If you like the underhook, the underhook works really great here too, okay? So this is a preference that so you can underhook or you can overhook. My overhook is because if he does get me off line, like he kind of double underhooks and scoops me and gets me going over this way, I can catch myself here and cross face. I can post out, walk myself back here, keeping my hips low, bring my head inside. And now I try to pummel here and get to the position. So that's why I like to have the overhook because it kind of leads itself into um, the backup moves from this. Okay, but you can, you can do the underhook too. A lot of people really like the underhook. Okay, then you get your hips up. When both of my legs are straight, this leg is straight, it's gonna allow me to form a wedge with this foot. Okay, keep it kind of tight. So once it's there, I can cheat my knee out. Once my knee is escaped, I can collapse it down and start to escape it. If he hooks my foot like that, I can just clear it with one foot to the knee, come here. If I have the overhook, or if I have the underhook, I'm still driving into him and keeping both of his shoulders flat. The key to, there's a lot of ways to pass the half guard, but a good starting point is to focus on keeping your opponent flat. It's really hard, when, I, when I'm in half guard, I always wanna turn on my side, with very, very few exceptions. So that's where you wanna start when you're attacking it. We're up here. We're pummeling. I'm trying to get low and drive my head into him this way. Get this underhook. I'm always pummeling for this underhook and coming under here. If, if he's really frustrating down here, I will reach this hand under and kind of walk it up here. Drive my weight into him, pop my hips up, usually fold this down and keep cheating my knee up to come out the side. Something that does, there's gonna be a lot of things that we'll go over in here. One of the main things that happens is like, if I can't get this underhook and he's up here, okay? I'll whizzer, I'll still use this cross face and I'll try to drive him flat this way. A lot of times he'll have this underhook and what, he, what they try to do is pull me over this way and get the sweep, right? So I need to not let him separate my legs and not let him stretch my body apart. So I'm going to hook my feet together, cross face, post. Okay, so now if he lifts up, I can hold here for a second. I'm settling my weight back this way, cross face. Now I separate his face and his arms with this action to get under here to get my head replacing the cross face. Once my head replaces the cross face, this arm 
can start to swim under for the underhook. This can start to overhook. I can come up, bring my knee down, pass this way, or you can go to mount the other way if you want. I have a little bit of a bad knee, so it's easier for me to come to that side, but you have a bunch of options. One more little sequence we can add on, and we might as well. And again, we'll go over probably this, this whole thing again, but you're always pummeling for this underhook. If you can get immediately inside, you can just go for your pass. Okay, but a lot of times he's gonna be tight with his underhook and I can't pummel. Okay, so I take a nice whizzer, I drive down, I come here, I cross face, okay? free my legs, lock them together, we went over that. Okay. What happens after that is I can't get that and I feel overcommitted. So he's going to hook me over, right? I can't get myself, I can't get him flat. Like I feel like the more light, if I, Overcommit, he's gonna he's gonna take me over. So instead, I'm gonna switch my hips and I'm gonna swing this knee around and trap this leg. Okay, so this wizard starts as a wizard, but it's gonna become a cross face. As I come here, I drop this around, pinch my knees to trap the leg, cross face. Now, depending on what he's gonna do, this arm is gonna hook because sometimes he'll open his legs and try to come on top, and I hook here and free my leg. If he doesn't do that, if he keeps my leg tight, okay, instead of hooking, now I'm posting. I bring my, I'm keep it tight, posting. Bring my other knee in front, here, and now I straighten this leg and I pull it out. A lot of times, keep it tight, a lot of times it'll get trapped right here, so I'm gonna switch. Just keep it like, like my foot is stuck. Okay, so I'm gonna bring my knee, this knee, that's uh, so this side of his hip, and this knee over to that side as I drive into him. In this motion. As I do that, my feet splay his legs open and I'm free. Okay, so one more time. He has a deep underhook. I have this wizard. Now I feel like I can't get him flat. I'm trying to, I'm trying to get my chest over him to get here, because if I can get him somewhat flat, I can cross face here, I can pummel under, and I can do all my other stuff. But he's not letting me do that. Okay, so before he gets me too far, I'm gonna keep this wizard, track his leg. Okay, this is gonna hook under here, just in case he goes to, to yeah. In that case, if he goes to do that, I hook under, I sit my hips back. I sit my hips back, so I have a base. Okay, and I just walk my leg and push it to him, so he can't come up. If he keeps it tracked, I don't hook under, I post. Free it out, drive in. A lot of times you come here, your knees switch out. One more quick thing I'll show is it's kind of obvious, but especially if you're doing nogi and you're in this position, right? You come here, I come around in this position, I get this nice cross face. I just keep my legs locked in this figure four, and now I'm obviously, I can tackle all of my knee bars, all of my inside um, heel hooks, my basically uh, inside triangle position. Right? You have your figure four under his legs. So it's a great position to attack legs from this position as well. Okay. We'll go over a bunch more stuff, but a good place to start is just thinking about um, the principles when you're battling top position. I wanna get his shoulders flat, number one. Battling inside control, I'm staying low, pummeling in, getting the underhook, Drive with my head, okay? Sometimes to start, if he gets really deep in here, like starting here, I'm gonna post, get this cross face. Again, experiment with this or under here, okay? Under here, if he's, I find like if you're cross face, like if you're going to pass and he's inter starting to interfere, right? Like pushing on your hip and stuff, it's good to just get the underhook. If he's not really pushing on a hip, if he's trying to, pull you over, and then I hook the face. Right? So I guess it's a situational thing. He's pulling you over here. If he's pushing on the hip, then you can cross face. Or, oh, under, Just some basics to remember. Okay. 